Hi guys, my name is Five Five. Welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And today we are going into Stella. We need to get this titanium to this this planet, and we need to start doing yellow research. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of resources, and I will be stuck. <laughs> so we need to solve this problem. But where we left off last week, uh, last yesterday, sorry, not last week, is I made this automated base system where it will provide us all the base materials that we need for conveyor belts, uh, assemblers and um, sorters. And then I get an ex excess of iron which goes into here and makes some steel rods or whatever they're called, uh, just steel actually. because. I don't have a good production of steel and as you can see this overflows once this all backs up and as you can see we've got a few uh, logistic systems so let's go over here and let's see what we've done and another thing I did I changed this area to be a little bit more efficient and use all the new belts so again I've got a logistic system here because this has literally four nodes left I'm not even using this one and that's a whole 30k that's half of that pretty much but these are gonna run out pretty much soon these iron veins are running out very very fast but that's producing one <laughs> literally let me just um let's just try and get that a bit more efficient now uh, yeah let's put that there and then we can bang that out there, that there, and that there. And hopefully, that'll work a little bit faster than what we had. Yeah, you can already see. So you can, as you can see, my iron is running out. Now here, I am producing iron, <laughs> if you follow this train, all the way um, over yonder, here we go. So I've got two iron nodes that I've got the majority of my resources on this planet now left in it. And that's literally just gonna supply everything that I need with iron for now. But as you can see, I've only got 1.2 million iron left and that's not a lot. That is not a lot at all. That looks amazing, doesn't it? Copper, I'm not too fast about because we don't use copper as fast as we do use iron. Now, that reason being said, we need to head over to the other planet. We need to set up a interstellar logistics uh, program or logistics platform, whatever they're called. And we need to start bringing titanium here. And the reason why I want to bring titanium here is because I want to start exploring, well I won't be able to do that, but I want to start getting other engines like this engine and this engine so we can warp and we can go faster and further and hopefully head out oops, to this ice planet over here. And we can go there now but it would just take a while and that's got 4.4 million iron on it. No copper. I don't mind about that because I've got copper on this planet. Uh, where are you? This planet here. I've got 8 million copper there. So this is going to be titanium, copper and stone. It's going to provide me with more than enough for the foreseeable future. This one is going to provide me with titanium and iron rest is oh and silicon silicon we need because that will make making silicon a much more efficient process so first of all we need to sort of tame this first planet we need to make sure everything's set up we need to get resources from that planet to here and start storing it then we're going to focus once we get upgrades taming this planet and bringing everything here. Then we can focus on the Dyson Sphere and start building the Dyson Sphere here. And then maybe go out to other galaxies. 
So, a lot oops, is in the works. And as you can see, we've got a lot ahead of us. So first we need to get this logistics stations up, but interplanetary logistics stations. So what I'm gonna do, because we can't really make an automation of it yet, because I just don't have titanium, and we need quite a bit of titanium. We need uh, about 80 titanium there, because we want two, one on each planet. Uh, and we need a logistics vessel. Now, for I'm only gonna do one for now, because I think that's all I can really make. But eventually we need to make a few of these. So luckily you can make everything by hand apart from, uh, where are you? This. So I'm gonna set up a quick uh, little smelter, does it use? Smelting facility. And I'm literally just gonna put three small storage there. I'm gonna put the items that I want it to smelt and we're gonna make a few um, how many do we need? Let's let's just make what we need. So we need 10 there for the reinforced thrusters. We need 10, so that's 20 already. And for two of these, we need 80 altogether. So we need 100 of the steel or the titanium, hardened titanium or whatever it's called. So let's start, let's just get, let's get right to it. So these are going to be the things that I need. I need four, what do I need? Let's see. I need, I think I need sulfuric acid, steel beams, and I can never find these things, and titanium. So if I want to make a hundred of these, I'm going to need a hundred titanium ingots, 100 still and I would say what's 25 times 8 about right where's my calculator I can't find my calculator we'll figure it out I'll put in a few hundred sulfuric acid in there and then we'll put the smelters out here Three should be fine. I don't know how much, how many I would need, but you know what? It doesn't really matter because we're only going to produce a few of them. And then we'll get the output from here. Go in there. We'll get a storage. Bang it in there. And that should be all I need to make these still, uh, not still, the titaniums. And I'm gonna need three inputs. So I need still, um, the other thing, and sulfuric acid. All right, so I've got 100 here. That should be enough. And that means I do have some titanium left over, which is cool got still here a hundred and now I just need the sulfuric acid which we have an abundance of so not too fast about that really happy with that actually which is down here somewhere here we go do I have oh wait a second have I been using the sulfuric acid where are you going? <gasps> I have been using sulfuric acid. And for some reason it's backed up and not producing anymore. That's not good. What are you missing? You're missing this line here. No, you're not missing that line. What are you missing? You're missing this line, which is oil. And you're missing oil <laughs> because we've got too much of this stuff. And I'm not burning it off. Hmm. 
Now, how can I burn this off quickly? Or maybe make a storage. Where is this going? This is going into uh, research production. Okay. Ah, um, I've got some storage on me. So let's just bung some storage here. Like so. Can that go into there? Not too close. Thought so. Alright. I haven't got enough. Well, I, I mostly could make the big ones, but I really want to get away from using all of this in storage. So we need to find a way to burn this um, hydrogen. Maybe I could use it as fuel for the generators over yonder, over there. But that will mean bringing it all the way over here and bring it in here. But they're all, look, they're all stacked up. I think these ones are the only ones that are not really getting any. Yeah, it's going to run out soon. And yeah, I don't really need it there. Unless uh, I put some some power supplies here. I need I need to find an efficient way to use this uh, oxygen, this hydrogen. So maybe I can do this actually. It turns hydrogen into deuterium. Deuterium. I can't say that word. Deuterium. So. It's a pretty much a one for one, but, and that's a good um, made in a particle collider. That's a good fuel chamber generation. Uh, that's really good, actually. So maybe that's a thing. But for now, I'm more worried about getting titanium onto this planet. Can I put more storage? I cannot. So let's put you there. Let's get another one in there and I'll slowly but surely get rid of this hydrogen at some point now that is moving so this should be moving which is then creating plastic <laughs> which again is something that I'm gonna have to burn somewhere or store somewhere or is the plastic getting used here? Okay, plastic's getting used there, but I'm not using this at the moment. <sighs> so, oh, it's sulfuric acid. It's what I want. It's exactly what I want. So we need to find another way to use these. Now these are another fuel source. Very bad fuel source. Minus 20%. So what else can use them apart from, if I get titanium, I'll be using them, but I don't have titanium. It only makes the titanium crystals at the moment. I don't know if it makes anything else in the future. Okay, so I just hope to get enough sulfuric acid that I can uh, make these logistic systems. And then, in fact, let me just take some off because that's taken all my sulfuric acid. So if I go here, and you know what? I'm just gonna do that for a sec. Just let that build up for a second. And while that is building up, I will cut this out. So it doesn't take too much time for you guys. And I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I've let that build up a bit, I, I believe, and I think my brain just went numb. So if I need a hundred of the, the titanium and um, other things, what is it still? Oh, what am I doing here? Then obviously if the sulfuric acid is double, I need 200. It, it makes sense, right? All right, so let's take that and that is 120 so 
we can carry on doing what we're doing while wow, that's building up. Be a bit more efficient. Look at this lovely spaghetti. Convey us spaghetti. We love it. All right. So if we go down here, we, where's my little, there it is. We bung this in there. And they're the three items we need to make this beautiful titanium alloy. Let's copy them settings. Get some sorters down. And I'm really not worried about ratios here. It really doesn't want to fit on that, does it? <sighs> Why you gotta do this to me, Grid? Why? Okay. I'll figure it out. All right, let's put that there. So, the one we need most of is this one. Of course it is. You know what, I'm gonna move that. Just makes things so much easier. Let's put you there. All right, so if we get a conveyor belt, like so. <laughs> that should work. That should work. And that should work. That looks beautiful. I believe that looks absolutely beautiful. Can you not fit there? No, it cannot. Um, um, what can I do here? Can I bring this? This can't. Uh, maybe if I bring this like so. And delete this one and this one. Come on, please. You can do it. No, it can't do it. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna use two. That's what it looks like. Or I can just move these back a little bit. But for now, we're gonna use two. So I just wanna get this done now because we need to go to the next planet. And we need to sort this out. And this one is gonna have this. So, that's making five per minute. That's not very fast. But that should give us pretty much everything we need. Why is it not working at full capacity? Do I not have, am I using that much power? And I need to make sure I have power otherwise when I get these logistic stations up, it's gonna go bust. Are we gonna bust? Trust me. We're not gonna have enough power. You see, now I'm getting a lot of power. Now, is this connected to the grid? It should be. Yep, now I'm getting a lot of power. In the daytime, we get a decent amount of power. It's just the nighttime. So I even need more of these, but these are all, oh, they're not charged at all, are they? They are going up pretty fast, but I think I use all the charge. So that mostly means we need more of these down here. All right, let's do that. And I'm gonna delete these connections. because I don't really need to make too many more just yet. I wish you had like a switch that you could just say, okay, I don't want this machine. Actually, you do have a switch. I can just be like, I only want that many for now. Give me that. And that way we can control if it turns off and on. Cool. Let's get these down. Right, so I've put a few extra down. Hopefully we can get, um, some power going in there quite fast. Let's see how it's going. So it is charging up. 
We've got 126 megawatts in the daytime over here. I've seen a lot of people do a ring of solar panels so it's constantly on, which is a pretty good idea. Um, I'm mostly not going to do that. But I, I can see why people would want to do that. Right, these are getting charged, but I don't think it would charge fast enough throughout the day. Let's hope so. Otherwise, I may have to put more solar panels down. All right, let's see how we're doing with this. It looks like it's used all of it. I made 56. Cool. Let's get some more sulfuric acid. And that should be all I need for now. Um, where are you? My lovely, lovely acid. There you go. All right, got a little bit of a stack there now. Let's get that. Let's put this back on. And get some graphene made. Graphene. And go back and that hydrogen's packed up again. I'm sure it, it, it packs up so quick and the, the stacks are so small. It's only 20 stacks. All right. Let's see what the power is like now. So it's not too bad, the power. We're using our... Ch so this is the charge bar. This is the generation bar. We're still 100% satisfaction because our charge is still pretty high. It's going down relatively faster. It's going down quite fast. It's going down very fast. <laughs> so we're, we're generating 31. Our charge, this charge from our batteries is 43. So you can see it doesn't fully discharge from the batteries if you're still generating power. And I think that's from my um, thermal plants over here. So it kind of helps it throughout the night. But let's finish with this. Let's see how many we need now. All right, that should be fine with that one. That should be fine with that one. And hopefully we'll get the 100. So while that's doing its thing, we need to plan what we're gonna make on that planet because I, I, I don't wanna have to travel to that planet anymore. I'm, I'm done traveling to that planet <laughs> unless it really need to. Um, I don't really want to. So we have on that planet that we wanna take pretty much, let's take a look here, zoom out. We have copper, titanium, and stone. There's a lot of wind energy and a lot of solar energy. So that's how we can power it. We don't we want renewable resources because the coal is very little there. Um, so we're technically we're gonna we're gonna want about 84. What are you missing? That's missing sulfuric acid. Some steel. And some copper. Okay. So we're going to want some storage. So for storage, we need some steel beams. So that many should be fine. How many can we make? 10 should be fine. We're going to try and bring everything into sort of one area. We're going to need a lot, a lot of um, conveyor belts. So let's get, should we get the tier three conveyor belts? Hmm, they're quite expensive. But it does mean that we can move it around faster. But they're very expensive. Um, I would like to use the logistic systems around the planet, but it's just too expensive to make, to be honest. All right, let's do that. 
Let's get some of these. One stack of that should be fine. I don't think I'll need assemblers, but I'll take some just in case. And for this, I would, in fact, I've got some sorters over here that I want to finish using. Right, how many have I got now? 92. <laughs> Come on. Stop it. All right. I can take them. I can take them. And we need some power supplies. Why are these out of pack fuel? This is not producing fast enough, most probably. So our power supply is going to be these bad boys. So it's not going to require much power. So I think that should be enough. And what I'll do, we'll get a few accumulators so that if it's nighttime over there, it shouldn't matter too much. Full T should be enough. Let's get one more stack. And then let's uh, check this out. Why are you why are you not producing what I need you to produce? Have you run out of sulfuric acid? That's run out of still. Let's put that still in there. To be fair, like all I need is on this side, well all I need on the other side is one of the logistics stations. So let's get that. Let's make this. So I can make two, so that's great. That takes a whole 30 seconds in an assembler, but it takes about seven seconds in my hand. <laughs> I'm very good at constructing apparently. So we're gonna bung that over here because we're gonna bring back copper, titanium, and stone. Now stone, I'm not too worried about. Copper, I'm not too worried about. Titanium is what I really wanna bring back. And I wanna bring back, I wanna put it right around here because I need titanium going into somewhere. I need titanium going into here. So what I'm gonna do I'm most probably, what, what, how many titanium does that need? Three titanium. I'm mostly going to pull it here, so then I can make like a little storage area of titanium and distribute it to other places. So let's take a look at this. Wow, that's big, isn't it? That is massive. Look at that beauty. You have established an interstellar logistics station and open the first node of logistics transportation among the planets. With it, no need to transport cargo between planets manually anymore. Just set to remote supply in the site on the raw material supply planet. The logistics vessel will bring the cargo to the other planets with corresponding remote demand sites accordingly. Setting local supply and demand can also inherit the functions of ordinary logistics station at the same time. Okay. Didn't understand the word he said, but we'll figure it out. Oh, you can do it quite a lot. Oh, do I need these little boys as well? Maybe, maybe. And I'm guessing this has, it does. Okay. So we'll figure that out when we come back. I really need to sort out power because it is using a lot of power. Um, but we'll sort that out eventually. I might do a whole power run later on off screen somewhere. Oh, did I make some more? Oh, three more, lovely. All right, let's bungle our stuff away that we don't need. And I'm gonna make my way there. And I will see you on the other planet. Peace. Okay, and we're here. Look at this lovely lovely abundance of titanium ah there we go that landing always gets me but this is what i'm talking about new resources and they're all full up i'm assuming nice not that we this iron is like minuscule we've got a lot of stone over there 
And look at all these iron ingots. Well, titanium ingots. Now, this is what I need. I need all of that. And there's two, uh, 1.2 million there. That's more titanium than I have of, that's more titanium than I have iron on my planet. So, let's get to building this little area up. Um, our power is not that, we don't consume much power yet. So I'm gonna make a nice little uh, solar panel system here. And that's 160 solar panels. Um, I think we can start here and go down four blocks. We'll go like that. And um, I think that works just nicely. All right, let's get a little um, montage, shall I say, or not time skip, but a speed through of all of this. All right. Okay, so that's the power grid done. Now, I'm hoping that the sun comes here, it does come here, cool. And that should, that should be okay. It, I feel like the day cycles are really fast on this planet. Does it tell me the cycles? Orbiting the star, orbital period, there you go. Yeah, rotation period. It's not that, Great, I don't believe. Let me see. Uh, where's my planet? What is it like to my planet? So four, three, four, five seconds is the orbital, orbitational period. Okay, it's not too bad. No, see that's three times as much. Hmm. Now I don't know how much that affects things. If it's a good thing or a bad thing, but. As long as they're fully charged, I'm happy. So now we want to put a station down. Right, where are we gonna put it? Maybe here, and we'll just have everything come into it. There we go. We can get a few of these power supplies coming down here. like so and then I did build um, the logistics vessel so that can go in there all right max load of vessels so I can only have one vessel okay and I've got drones but seven doesn't seem that much can I make more? <laughs> Can I make more? I've got processors. I've got thrusters. I just need a bit of iron, which I should have down here. So if I take that, um, make another three, which is not bad, I guess and we can put 10 in there which is 10 percent i believe well, i don't know i didn't see that go up i thought i was always staying at 10 percent anyways we can put titanium ingots remote supplier mm. 
local storage remote supply is that what I want to do I don't know what local storage means and if we get now a conveyor belt of this going all the way down here let's put it here ah I think that is just off that is just off nope I don't think I can I think this is in the way there we go I've got enough power I shouldn't need that to be honest why is it why why in the middle one there's one right here thank you if we do that that should give us our supply of titanium now what I would like to do is make a few more um, lines of titanium coming in because yeah I would like to get uh, 10,000 of them I would love a massive supply of titanium so what we're going to do we're going to try and make two more miners we're going to find another titanium node and connect it in there and you know what the other two like this the copper and the um oh that goes so fast look how fast that goes Wow. So I haven't set the other place for demanding it yet, so that's just gonna stock up. Oh, I love that. So yeah, so the copper and uh, stone, uh, I can always come back and by then I should have a better speed so I can come back quite fast. So what I do wanna do is I wanna set up another uh, titanium ingot sort of factory so what we're going to need we're going to need two miners which means we're going to need some iron ore and some copper so we can take this copper here we can take iron ore from there and i think oh look, i've got loads of iron ore in there as well and then we can make 23 of them if we wanted to but we would just make two and let's go and find another look over there and it's so close look at that 1.4 million this, this is millions we're talking about i will have titanium for days for days and that's seven that's holding seven veins there that is going to be a good production of titanium I think seven veins is the max. So that is six. That is six. I want to try and hit seven again. Oops. It should have clockwise and anti clockwise rotation. It is absolutely annoying to go. Oh. No, that's six. Can we get that one on there? No. Can I move that like that? A, A, A. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. Seven. All right, then we're going to need smelters like so. No, that's just producing so fast. Look at that. That is not going to keep up. Look at it. Look, the, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, I can get five of these. Uh, five smelters. I need to make some smelters. What do I need? Stone. Stone slabs. We got, we got this. Stone slabs. Let's make five. Let's make 10. I think 10 is what we can do. And while that's making, let's bung you like that. Let's bung you like so.
get on there and we're literally just going to make it here and pull it straight into the logistics station right there you go I'm literally lack of item okay can I can I get another two please another three actually yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna mine the hell out of this planet for titanium and we're gonna produce all the research we need and all the high-grade materials that we need I really can't get over how fast this is moving this is actually ridiculous all right let's get some conveyor belts down stop being mesmerized all right that can go like that that can go there like so in there this can go down there no don't go in the middle one there you go and that means our thing should be done here cool get that whoops no i want this like so and the reason why i'm not too fast about getting the other materials is because the vessel has a limited amount of how much it can take and i haven't upgraded it so it can only take 200 per trip so no matter how fast i make it it can only take that will be my bottleneck unless i make multiple and i don't really have the resources right now to make multiple so that's not going to happen all right so let's copy that and get a whole stack of titanium and what i do want to do let's make five of them fine i actually want to um because this is going to fill up really fast as you can see it can only hold up to 10,000 so and I'm gonna be making a lot more than 10,000 so what I want to do is I want to make a little storage maybe like so and it's just gonna be an overflow storage so what we're gonna do here we're gonna put this like that we're gonna put this like that and we're gonna put some storage here and I think that actually let's let's move that around a bit that's a bit it's a bit too weird let's put it like so and we can build up so what's gonna happen it's gonna come out here it's gonna go like that. I don't need too many connections in. It's gonna go like that. And then that's gonna go into. That is definitely gonna go. Why? Why? Why that one? I want. Okay. Fine. You win. We're going to that one. Thank you. Wow. There we go. All right, so let's set this to go there, and that goes there. Set this into there. Again, with this one, we need to set up the conveyor belt there. That is the majority, or the priority, should I say? And that goes into there and then we just need power uh, let's do that that and that and yeah that's fine so that backed up a bit as i cut off the supply so that's why it went into the overflow already Let's put one there and one there. Look how fast that comes up. Yeah, 
That's amazing. That comes out so fast. But yeah, when that's filled up, which is pretty much soon, then we're gonna have storage here. So if I ever come back and I need to grab some, I'm gonna have loads here, loads. All right, and I think that's all we needed to do here really. Let's check the power. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm not using any power at all. I'm literally not using any power at all. Um, what else did I want to do here? Let me just make sure. I don't really need that. I could potentially get another uh, vein and what can I do with titanium here? What can I use titanium for? I don't really want to set up that. I've got no hydrogen down here to make that. So yeah, I don't really need it for anything else at the moment. Yeah, I've got no water on this planet to make this. So I didn't really need to bring my assemblers down here. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to put this here. I'm just going to bung some stuff in it for if I ever need anything down here. I've still got some materials down here to use. Uh, some smelters. All this stuff, I can, t I can leave that there. The rest of the stuff I can take back with me. And what we're going to do once that fills up, which is pretty much now, I'm going to fill up my whole inventory with titanium. So just to help the logistics out, because you know, they're going to be supplying back and forth a hell of a lot of titanium. So now that's backed up, it's going into here. We're building a stock of titanium. In fact, that needs to go in there a little bit faster. I'm a little bit impatient. Just a little, just a tad. Okay, let's get two. Because I want to put one on each side, maybe. No, that one's going fine. Let's, uh... No, nah, no, nah, don't mind. To be honest, I can take it from here. I forgot about that. I can go in there. All right. So let's get all this supply. Look at all that. That's lovely, isn't it? And obviously, it's not going to go as fast next time because there mostly won't be as big of a build up. But. There is some build up. Look at all that titanium. All the titanium I need. Right, now time to go back to the other planet and put this titanium to research and good use so that we can go and get iron in another planet. Lovely. All right, I'll see you back on the other planet. Okay, and we are back. So, okay, let's get this landing. Oh, there we go. Ah, didn't know there was a copper vein there. Never mind. And uh, not much, but not really needed anyway. All right, so we've got a lot of titanium. We should be getting some brought in, actually. And I just realized something. I could have put a few slots of titanium, I believe. No, you cannot duplicate. Okay. Um, so I want to remote demand. So 200 is coming. <laughs> How long it takes to come, I have no idea. But it's coming. Slowly, but surely. And what I'll do, let's set up a little storage here and get it stored up. Now, what do I need for storage? I need steel. And I need um, some. Oh, have I got both of them? No, I've got neither of them. 
I need some steel, which I've got loads of apparently. And I need some stone slabs, which I definitely have loads of. These I've got in abundance, which is over here. And let's make some storage. Let's make tanks, I'm always using them. All right, so has this been delivered yet? No, it hasn't. So I know we can increase the speed and we can give them warp drives and that, so it speeds things up because right now we're like primitive at the moment when it comes to interstellar logistics. Oh, I've got no, I've got no conveyor belts. Let's go and get some conveyor belts. Ah. Keep, keep on top of it, keep on top of it. Uh, got some conveyor belts in here, I believe, yes. And get one of these, no space. That can go, that can go, that can go, and that. That, and just in case, I'll take that. All right, so now that we're getting titanium, slowly but surely, we can progress into a much, much better future. Oh, we got the two in storage, 200 in storage. You know what? That wasn't that long. It, it wasn't that long. Why, why not that one, please? Thank you. So let's get that in there. It's not going to come fast enough for us to need more than one of them. Let's get some power over here just in case. And let's filter this out. Um, into that. And there you go. Our first. Ah, what am I doing? our first supply of titanium straight from that planet. And again, we're gonna definitely um, not be able to keep up, but hopefully through research and other things, we can speed up the process. So did we see that actually uh, land? I wonder. This is quite a nice screenshot. All right, got the screenshot. Got to make sure you get them screenshots. So I don't see it anywhere. It's in transit. I hope I get to see it. That would be pretty cool. But I can understand if we don't. It's, it is a lot of um, pressure, pressure on your processor and whatnot. So does it say where it is? It doesn't say where it is. Orbital collector, tick this if you want the vessel to collect cargo from the orbital collector. I haven't seen, I haven't made an orbital collector. If the transport distance reached the distance to enable warp, the vessel won't depart until a warp. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool because it might take forever if you don't have a warp drive. Come on, you can do it. Show me, show me the vessel. Okay, that just says the split items. Now that I'm waiting, I get to look around this um, this UI a bit and just really take in how simplistic, but how good it is. Um, yeah, it's a very nice UI. It's very clean. Summer zone, sunset in 30 seconds. All right, this is taking its time. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. star map I don't want to click anything just in case I miss this because I don't want to wait here for so long and then miss it that would be a bit annoying oh oh you see it look at that that's crazy you do see it and it is slowly bringing me the resources that I need I'll have a slow supply very very slow supply of uh, titanium and with that guys 
I think we can call this episode complete. I'm going to do a lot of researches, researching um, off screen. I'm going to sort out the power because I think my power ran out at one point. And um, yeah, I'm going to, we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at trying to get to the other island, other island, other planet and get some iron in. Once we get that, we've got a stable income of iron and titanium. We can start making things better around here and using these um, solar ejectors and start making the Dyson Sphere, I think. I think it's time after we get the iron sorted to make the Dyson Sphere. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.